query scopes and this is really gonna blow your mind it's something really cool in lava that we're gonna learn so the first thing i want to do is i want to show you the post controller if you can see right here we can do category post where simple paginate and the reason why we can use this functions chained is because Lavo provides what we call a query builder and what it helps us do is build a query to the mysql database okay so we can add custom methods to this query builder using Lavo's scopes so i'm gonna go to the post model and i'm gonna add a method so i'm gonna say public function and this is going to be called scope searched okay and this is how you create a level scope scope like this and then the name of the method that you're going to be using and it has to be in this casing and then in here we're going to receive a query and a query basically is an instance of the query so that we can chain so in this query right here we can do query where okay or if that query was for a specific model we can call a relationship okay so this is basically a query and then what we are going to do here is we're going to get the search from the request so we're going to say request query and then here i'm going to have search and what we're going to do is we're going to say if there is no search then we're not going to modify the query builder we're simply going to return the query like that but then if there is a search we're going to return query where the title because now we are using the query builder on the post model then we're gonna say like and then in here we're gonna have a percentage and then embed the search term right there for the database okay and remember we are returning the query so that we can continuously chain okay so if there is no search then it's simply gonna return the query it's not gonna do anything but if there's a query then we're gonna return it like this so how do we use this I'm gonna go to my post controller for the block and right here or actually let's go to the welcome controller and start there so right here where we are returning the page for all the posts we don't need to do all of this anymore we don't all we need to do is come here and then we're gonna do post searched like this and then we're gonna do simple paginate okay and i'm just gonna say three and if i come to the home page great you can see three values right there if i search for strategies great you can see we have strategies showing up that which, which means the search is working perfectly okay now this is what happens the search right here is the name of this scope so you can see search right there after the scope keyword okay so what happens is level is gonna call that method on the query builder right there and it's gonna return the results okay so in our controller all we need to do is do this in case we want to add search functionality for that specific page and that's it it's working so if we go to our post controller for the blog and then we want to modify the search all of this we don't need to do it we can just delete this okay so all we need right here is let me just delete all of this and then here we don't need post all we need to do is category post to give us all the posts for this category and then we're gonna say searched to get all those that have been filtered by the query params okay so we're calling that builder method and then we're gonna call simple paginate on three and that's it as simple as that so here even where we have tag post simple paginate we can just add searched like that and it's gonna automatically call this method that is gonna filter the results by the query parameter awesome so let's refresh click on partnership if i search for design i can still get the result but if i search for zen i can't get the results for this specific query awesome and let me show you something if i come right here and you can see we have designed or we have garage right here right but i'm gonna go to partnership and since we don't have garage there if i search for garage you can see we don't have the results because it's not under this category how cool is that so query palms are really powerful you can see the tags here work perfectly so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to a single blog post right here and then right down here where we have these tags i'm also gonna modify these tags so they work so i'm gonna go to show.blade.php for our blog and then where we have the list of tags i'm also gonna modify this okay 
so we don't forget anything. So I'm gonna have a route, and we're gonna have block.tag, and we'll pass in the block tag ID right there. Awesome, refresh. If I click on this, great, it brings me to the record tags right there. And just like that, guys, we have a fully functioning professional blog, just like that, guys. So one thing we could add, an improvement to this blog is add this. Let me show you that, add this. It's gonna help us add functionality like sharing, following to our blog, and it's really important if you're trying to build a business, okay? So what you wanna do is make sure you have an account. So you wanna log into your account, or you can sign in with Google, or with Twitter, you understand, just to make it really fast. So I'm just gonna sign in right there. Authorize the application, it takes me back. I'm just gonna show you this really cool tool, okay? Before we close this section for good. So right now, I have different accounts. You can add a profile. I'm just gonna add one for SaaS blog and add this. And you can see we have one for SaaS blog. You have all the instructions right here that you need. So what you want to do is you want to click on get the code and then you add this code to your blog. Let me show you how it's done. So you can copy this snippet of code right now and add it to your blog. And what add this is going to do is give you analytics on your site visitors, stuff like that. But what you want to do is want to come to tools right here and then want to search for the share buttons tool because that's what we want to add to our blog. And then we're going to select the inline there's a lot of options i just prefer the inline and then i'm gonna automatically let add this to design or select the ones that should be added and then i'm gonna activate the tool okay so i'm just gonna click on activate tool and it's gonna give you a snippet of code you can add okay so this is the code i'm just gonna copy this snippet and it says it should go before your body. So I'm gonna come to the blog.blade.php, which is the layout file for my blog, and I'm gonna paste it right there, okay? Just before the end of the body tag. And finally, we just need to paste this snippet of code where we want the share buttons to be rendered. So I'm gonna come to my blog show.blade.php, and right before we display the tags, I'm gonna paste it right there, just like that, okay? So if I come right now, refresh, visit a single blog. Great, look at that. All of a sudden, we just have some share buttons right there. If I click on that, it automatically takes me to the page to share these blog posts, okay? There's like a lot of them, there's even Facebook. It just works out of the box, okay? And you can actually customize your tool. So if I go back to tools, you can go into your tool and you can choose the services, you can select this one, you can also select email, I'm gonna remove Pinterest and add this. And then I can go ahead and select the design, you know, rounded corners, I can choose rounded colors like that. Basically do whatever I want to do with it, okay? So this is large, I'm just gonna choose small because I prefer small, update it. If I come back to my page, refresh, it's probably gonna take a second to kick in, once the set savings, the settings are updated. Okay, so that's it, guys. I've shown you a really cool tool that you can use to increase the popularity of your blog, advance your blog, and stuff like that. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for this project for you. Okay, so that's what I have. And that's it, guys. So I've put everything right here. In the next lesson. I'm just going to add one more functionality which has to do with publishing posts.